That's a great question, Phil. The judge told the jury to be back at 10.15 tomorrow. He plans to be back in the courtroom at about 8.30. He's dealing with some of the doctors who examined Chisholm. At this point, the big question is, if and when they resume, will the defendant be there? Your uh, client's refusing to come out. I had an opportunity to observe the uh, uh, defendant who uh, did not respond to uh, the court or counsel's questions and was lying on the, uh, on the floor. Um, uh, uh, mumbling with his eyes closed. Accused killer Philip Chisholm quiet through the morning testimony. Prosecutors trying to prove he murdered his math teacher Colleen Ritzer at Danvers High. The large green recycle bin. The jury saw photos of the bin allegedly used to move the teacher's body from the school to woods nearby. Then during a recess, Chisholm's attitude changed. He said, I can't take this anymore. I can't come out. I can't take it. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anyone. Defense attorneys say the behavior raises more questions about his competency. This is a very stressful situation, and he does have this diagnosis of this serious mental illness. I'm sure he can't take it anymore. I'm sure it's very difficult to sit here and listen to that. I frankly don't think there's anything irrational about that. Your oldest child, what was her name? Colleen. And how old was she? She was 24 at the time. Peggy Ritzer held it together identifying her daughter's photo and remembering hours of wondering when she could not be reached. The only thing that I could have thought could have happened was that maybe she had been in a car accident or something. This afternoon, the judge had television technicians who are covering the trial begin to cable a feed into the holding area, the cell where Chisholm is held when he's not in court. It's conceivable that might be the answer here. He might be watching the trial while he's held in the cell. I'm Jack Harper, WCBB News Center 5.